Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk. Give me your, give me your, give me your ways. You don't know what to do with it. Give me your, give me your, give me your way. Give me your, give me your, give me your. Like I've said before, make sure that you're going to patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. One of the coolest things that I put up there this week is my podcast that I released on Tuesday and it's entitled We Love to See It. Of course, that's in reference to Dwayne Wade and the conversation that was recently brought up um, and is still going about Zaya. Also on the podcast, like I've mentioned, we talked about uh, Michael Bloomberg and Amy Klobuchar, but specifically on Michael Bloomberg, there was some audio that resurfaced about him talking about stop and frisk and the racism jumped out as we all knew and expected. So during the episode, I give you a whole lot of information about stop and frisk and why that shit was racist as hell and also ineffective as hell. Other topics that the patrons brought up. It was a really great episode. Make sure that you go to patreon.com slash Adrian Expression and check it out. So I thought that I was going to be able to do everything within one video, but as I started talking about Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union and Zaya and how a lot of the transphobia and homophobia was jumping out, I realized, yeah, girl, that was going to be a whole separate video. So <laughs> I just kept talking and talking. I was like, girl, I'm getting to know other topics uh, during this video, so I need to just go ahead, separate them, and talk about the rest of the topics in a different video. So here we go. I want to start off with Megan Thee Stallion. Megan was up, she did a live, and I guess she addressed a whole lot of things. So apparently, like some mugshot was released of her, and I don't know if it was leaked or, or it just was there and people didn't search it before, but yeah, mugshot was spread all across social media, and the girls were like, damn, Megan, what the hell happened? When she went on to one of her lives to talk about, like I said, a lot of topics, she addressed it at first, she was like, you know, I was in, she said she was like 1920, I think. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. She said that she was in like this toxic relationship, this toxic situation, and the nigga kept trying her. One day the nigga kept trying her, trying her, pushing her, stopping her phone up and shit. And then so she said she went off on that nigga and <laughs> she said she started stealing off on that nigga. She said someone had already seen them arguing and fighting and called the police and the police showed up when she retaliated. But she was just like, that whole situation was toxic. I feel like a lot of people can relate to that especially in their younger years. I don't know, I know that I thought that certain things were just so cute and so, oh yeah, girl, I really thought I was that girl, that bitch. And you grow older, you realize, girl, that was some really disgusting, toxic behavior. It was a really dumb situation you were in and I'm glad I know better now. It seems that she does as well. Um, she also spoke about the fact that, and this is what she said, she said, y'all be doing press conferences with her pussy. <laughs> with her pussy all the time. She said she getting tired of y'all wondering who's in it and what's, who, what her pussy dealing with. She said, you can go and party and not have sex with people. You can go out and have fun. She's like, try it, try it. And I always notice the difference between how a lot of female celebrities navigate through this entertainment industry versus how male celebrities do. Because it's just like, a lot of these males ain't getting these questions like that. And if they were getting pressed, like how a lot of women celebrities are being pressed about who they hang out with, who they allegedly fucking, a lot of these um, male celebrities would not be the deadbeat dads that they are. <laughs> it's like, it's a lot of leeway is given to a lot of these male celebrities versus women. And it's just like, even if Megan Thee Stallion was having sex with these men, that's none of our business. She's hanging out, she's getting drunk, she's doing what she gotta do. As long as it's consensual between two adults, it's just like, girl, what's what's the problem? Like, that's her prerogative. I, she shouldn't have to, and I'm glad she went up there and said that shit. She shouldn't have to get up there saying every five seconds, oh yeah, I'm fucking him, no, I'm fucking him, no, I'm dating, yes, it's just like, let her do what she got to do. And you know some of these ass she asked men watching her talking about, oh yeah, she a hoe, she, it's just like, girl, what is what is your favorite rapper doing? Why why he ain't a hoe? Get out of here. <laughs> and speaking about y'all favorite rapper, I heard that the baby got something going on. I don't know. I don't know. Apparently his what what was she? Can we can someone please explain to me because the way that a lot of these news platforms and the way that a lot of these people are approaching this situation, they are acting like the baby was actually dating his primary, I'm, I don't know, girl. It's a lot of times these rappers treat these women like they uh, uh, checking accounts, like primary, secondary. So I was under the impression that his primary baby mama was just that, like a baby mama and that's it. But from what I'm seeing online, a lot of people are saying like they was kind of together, technically together, but not really. I don't know, news spread around that baby, uh, the baby got somebody else pregnant and the first baby mama was mad about that. Then the baby came back saying, you know what? I wasn't actually with her when I when this other your child was conceived. 
and it's I mean it's just back and forth people trying to expose each other on Instagram by releasing text messages and all this then the baby gonna come back talking about well you know y'all are not going to get the reaction that you think you're gonna get out of me because it with all of this shit that's going on online my children are involved or a child is involved so I'm not really taking it to that level if y'all really want to go there more power to you but this is all y'all gonna get and that's it so yeah if someone can decipher what's going on because it's a lot of relationships it's a lot of time and it's just like, I don't know if they got titles or no titles. I don't know what's expected, what's not expected. It's some alleged cheating and some kids going on with the baby. And that's that's really all I know about that situation. So now, I'm not sure how true or confirmed this is, but news spread quickly online about the fact that Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are allegedly expecting their first child together. I want to say congratulations. Now, Sansa says, what I, I hope that you do is you hide your child from the Night King. We all know that his tired ass was running around here. Even though your sister did kill him, but we never know. We never know with the world of um, Game of Thrones. We know that the Night King's out here trying to recruit babies, trying to give them sacrifices and shit. It's giving very much lands of always winter type of tease. So Sansa, you know what you have to do. Just make sure you don't carry your ass in the crypts like last time. It's <laughs> Sophie, you gotta take Joe and your baby and run far away from Winterfell, girl. We are not taking those types of risks anymore especially if dad and dave are still in charge of your story i'm trying to protect you make sure that you run far away from winterfell don't go to king's landing maybe there's some cute shit at dorn they got some flowers and some um they wine is good down there at dorn maybe you can hide out at dorn but take y'all ass away from winterfell girl that's all i'm saying <laughs> all right so in a tad bit of ridiculous news we have some tattoos all right so the first one we're going to investigate is chris brown's Air Jordan, is it giving Air Jordan tattoo? Is it giving uh, Nike? I don't know what it's giving. It's giving shoe on the face type of realness. Now it's really no shade, but I just wish that his music was as attention grabbing uh, as these tats, as the tattoo that he decided to put on his cheek. I don't know if he wanted to give us all types of doormat realness. I don't know if he was giving us, I don't know, uh, pay less shoe closet realness. Not sure if he was trying to give us hiking tees with that tennis shoe or if he was giving us athlete's foot. I'm not sure what it was, but all I'm saying is that I can tell that you rich ass motherfuckers are really bored. <laughs> you don't have anything to do. And you know what? If he was if he was busy making songs sound like they weren't identical, then he wouldn't have time to put this on his face. You see what I'm saying? I just, wow, it's a lot that's going on. I would say that I wish Chris Brown the best uh, but I got to get to his victims first. Moving right along. And this one is, in my opinion, most definitely more egregious. It's the most egregious one. Uh, Amber Rose got slash and bash tattooed on her forehead. Like I said, y'all have so much money. It's just, you know what I mean? Y'all are swimming in so much money that y'all don't know what to do. I don't know what it is, but there is nothing on this planet that could get me to tattoo something in the middle of my mouth on forehead. I can tell you that right now. And she got slash and bash. Now, if you're wondering what slash and bash is for, it's for her children, Sebastian Thomas and Slash Edwards. Now, me personally, I'll be so ashamed. Can you imagine looking at your mama every time, every day, every moment, even if you're on FaceTime with your mama and you see your name right there splattered on her? Just, I mean, it's giving the king's seal type is just stamped on her forehead. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine going to a wedding with your mama? Can you imagine going to a restaurant with your mama and the bill comes and your name is on the bill and her forehead? <laughs> Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I cannot imagine the kids being happy with that shit. <laughs> Get me out. I was just like, no, she did. No, she did. And of course she responded, because of course all of all of the internet dragged the shit out of her. That shit is so strange to me. Like famous rich people do not, they don't have a care in the world. And then so when you I guess when your life is that carefree, you gotta create chaos or something. I don't know, girl. So like I said, she responded because all of Twitter, all of social media was dragging her. And then you know, if her purpose is to keep her name in the headlines because she's Amber Rose, then she she does that quite successfully. Um, but she said, for the people that are telling me I'm too pretty for a face tat are the same people that would tell me I'm too pretty 
me even if they thought I was ugly and lie to me. Or they would just tell me I'm ugly so either way the moral of the story is do whatever the fuck you want to in life. Yeah, I mean you can do whatever you want to and that's why we are doing whatever we want to and clowning that weird ass shit. <laughs> Like, okay, it's just, it's your kids, woo, 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 that's fun, but it's definitely giving me newspaper type of tease, uh, it's giving me headlines type of tease, it's giving me very hard to read cursive type of tease, but as long as you happy sis, then I don't really have anything else to say, girl. <laughs> okay, so do you all know who Deval Patrick is? Uh, yeah, I don't know either. Apparently he dropped out of the presidential race, so I mean, he could be walking down the street and I, w I just, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to that man. I don't know who y'all talking about, but apparently he dropped out the presidential race. I'm sorry, sus. Um, better luck next time. <laughs> Somebody else who dropped out of the race was Andrew Yang. It's just things are getting a little bit tighter. Uh, we saw in New Hampshire that Bernie came out in the lead. Now, somebody that I am very surprised was is even taken seriously in this debate, in this presidential race, I'm sorry, is Pete Booty Juice. Pete Booty Plug. Pete Booty Fruity. I did not realize that he had even this strong of a chance when it came to getting the nomination. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering why, sus. Every time he's called out for his allegiance to billionaires, every time he's called out for that bullshit that happened at police department with black people, every, I was just like, girl, please just do a Google search. Please just do a Google search and get this man off the playing field. Why is his no personality, I robot West World host? You know what I mean? Why is his I need to update myself to the latest operating system? Built as even take it seriously, get his ass out of here. And I see some people talking about the fact that, oh my gosh, you need to get behind Pete Buttigieg because he's gonna be the first gay gay president. Girl, I don't care if trash is gay, we gotta still put it in the bin, sus. It don't matter. This is coming from a whole ass gay man. If garbage comes out and says, hey, I'm gay, sis, you still going in the plastic bag? You still going in the garbage truck? You know what I mean? Get his ass, get his ass out of here. Somebody else that they're trying to get out of here is William Barr, AG Attorney General William Barr. Apparently there's been a whole lot, I mean, it's been trending on Twitter, what is it called? This Barr, William Barr, they're trying to get his ass. <laughs> out of here and it kind of stems from this whole Roger Stone situation where you know William Barr t teaming up with Donald Trump to try to get Roger Stone a less intense sentence and as you know Roger Stone was arrested he was indicted for lying to Congress and obstructing the House of Representatives from doing their investigation when it came to the whole Russia interference now like I said after he was acquitted it's even more solidified the fact that he can do whatever the hell he wants he can try and manipulate people he can try to punish his political enemies even further he can try and fire career politicians and place in whoever the hell he wants and he can try and do the shit that he's trying to do right now uh, with Roger Stone and the sentencing and all of that honestly I just want everyone to be escorted out of the administration and out of the White House okay I want I mean Everybody from Trump to Betsy Tart ass devils to Rudy Giuliani who really is constructed like Dr. Eggman Robotnik is giving very much Sonic the Hedgehog tease. Get them all out of here so that I can breathe and live in peace. But on that note, I want to thank all of you so much for watching. Make sure that you check out, like I always say, my Patreon at patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. There's a whole lot of goodies over there for you all. Love you so much and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.